Hello, in this tutorial we will see how to build one big gallery such as this on tutorial7.com It is a jQuery gallery with thumbnails and for this gallery we will need two plugins as you can see you can choose from uh, one of the thumbnails and easy navigate through the um, through the images alright so let's see how to build a gallery like this okay so the first plugin is iframe it is very nice plugin which you can use for your website and uh, input any type of code there so you just put this code uh, on your uh, page or post and you can create nice galleries or use this plugin for uh, some other purposes and the second one is the gallery itself which is uh, very cheap it's only seven bucks so you will be able to uh, create very nice looking galleries all right so let's see uh, some demo galleries and as you can see here we have eight examples of this plugin so let's open them to see how they look like alright so here's the first one as you can see it looks like mine but with videos and when you click on particular thumbnail there's an image or there's a video inside alright so here's the second example it is uh, the same gallery but with fixed width and height here's the third one without all these uh, arrow, uh, arrows on the left and, and on the right only the thumbnails and you can again choose to watch these photos alright so we won't go through all of them but as you can see for seven dollars you can get eight galleries and they look very very nice alright so uh, I've already downloaded this uh, plugin. Let's see what's inside. So here's the help section. You can read how to set the layouts, how to use these multiple galleries, and so on. So there's a nice documentation here. We have the source file of JavaScripts, and also we have these galleries as well as you can see there are 18 galleries here all right so we will use here's the first one with empty thumbnails here's the second one two different galleries the third one We will be building this one all right so we won't go through all of them so I will delete them because we won't use them and let's give it a name let's say index only so let's see what's in the index file and as you we can see here's the title of the gallery and here are all these paths to all these images since we can see we have the term holder the data title and we have the content here the first is the video from Vimeo then we have the title which is optional you can erase it and we have the image class and the source of the uh, image so we are using category 3 thumb and for the exact image let's say here here's the path for the image itself so we are using this folder category 3 so we won't need the others so I'll just erase them in the images in the pretty photo I'm sorry it is in media 
we have category 1, 2 and 3 so category 1 and 2 are used for the other gallery so we'll use only this one let's see something else uh, here in CSS we have all these different CSS so we don't need to upload them on our server so we will find only these which are used for this gallery alright so we are using pretty photo CSS we are using grid horizontal buttons 100 and we are using uh, the version for Internet Explorer so there are only three CSS we will be needing so the first one is the pretty photo this one then we are using the Internet Explorer CSS and the exact CSS for our gallery which is this one alright so I'll delete all the other CSS we won't need them and let's see what's left alright so here our gallery so basically now we will need to put it on our website so now we will need the other plugin which is the iframe plugin and I've already installed it on my website you can download it from this page or you can search it in the from your dashboard in WordPress directory by typing iframe alright so we will create a new post let's say gallery and here's the code itself so we will need to know the source of the gallery so here will be the source and we can set up the width which in our case will be 100% and we can set up the height it can be 900 pixels or 1000 I will leave it at as 800 and now uh, we have the gallery we will be using so basically we won't change all these images you can do it for yourself for your own gallery simply find how many win, uh, how many images do you want to use and uh, by going into the index.html simply change uh, the path to the thumbnail images and to the exact images all right and you can use it for uh, YouTube or Vimeo as well if you have some videos to show currently let's see how many photos do we have here currently we have 48 images and some of them are videos all right and it's a very nice trick as well whenever if you want to change something in the uh, in the look for example I don't need this tweet button there there's gonna be another one here is Facebook you can simply remove it you just uh, have to go to this page I will post it on the tutorial7.com site and here's the documentation of pretty jQuery lightbox um, gallery alright so here is the code of the JavaScript and as we can see we have one class div class tweet and after that we have iframe for Facebook and if you want to remove this one simply go to JavaScript find this file pretty photo JavaScript and remove all these lines you can remove this line and you can remove the Facebook iframe it's a nice tip which you can use for creating your gallery now let's create the gallery itself so uh, we'll need to we already have the iframe gallery so we'll need to upload our gallery by using FTP manager and simply uh, give the path in the iframe alright so let's say we'll type gallery we will upload the gallery 
after the name of the site. So here after we type this one. We will see our gallery. Alright. In the index HTML file you can change the title because Google will crawl this gallery and you can say uh, for example your site and the name of the gallery you will be using. Alright, so I'll take this URL and put in the new post in the iframe code. Alright, so let's put it here. Let's publish this gallery and see how it looks like. Alright, so let's view the post while our gallery is uploading. And here's the gallery, but the images are still uploading so we will have to wait. We can also create a page instead of a post so we will have the full width. So here we can use the default template, the block template and the other options. For example if you are page have the option to uh, show the full width of the page it is the best option for your gallery because as you can see here in the tutorial7.com funny gallery I'm using the full width of the page so have this uh, important thing in mind All right so let's see our gallery is still uploading I will pause the video while it's finished alright so now it's fine Let's refresh our page. And now we can see that the gallery is ready. Okay. As I said, you should better use the uh, full width of your page here are the buttons I was talking about you can easily remove them here is the Vimeo and you can also navigate with the keyboard by selecting left and right to choose between the images and the videos alright also here's the button for closing use this gallery for your projects it is very nice if you have uh, a lot of images you want to display uh, in one place so that's why I have chosen this gallery and I'm using it with iframe alright so you can go to codecanyon.net and choose this gallery for your web design projects thank you very much for watching you can visit my website tutorial7.com for more tutorials about WordPress, SEO, Joomla and search engine optimization. Thank you very much again for watching this video.